The office is currently in shambles. But come back next week and you'll see the transformation that occurs. <laughs> Get excited. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Melody and thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. So we are back with another vlog. It is so encouraging seeing your guys' response on my last vlog. I've really been in this space of trying to figure out like what kind of content resonates with you guys and that I enjoy creating as well. And I feel like we're really onto something here with these vlogs. So I'm very excited to keep rolling them out for you. This vlog is gonna be a lot of fun. It is Saturday and I'm gonna be filming this weekend and just kind of seeing what we get into. Right now we're getting ready to go on a hike. I keep trying to like make my ponytail visible so I can look a little cuter. There we go. As y'all know, these coronavirus cases are just like surging more or less across the country, but definitely here in Georgia. It's just getting a little crazy out here. So we're trying to social distance as much as possible, get out, get some fresh air, and we shall see what we get into this weekend. Okay. Update for my hair. We fixed the ponytail. It is now sky high, giving me Ariana Grande vibes. And oh my gosh, I think he's ready. <laughs> Were you waiting on this? I was waiting on you. Uh, oh, you're gonna bring your arrows and stuff? Yeah. So X is an outdoorsman. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> And he has bows and arrows. So this will be fun. I've actually never done this. I can finally do it. Yeah. Hiking gear 101 with Xavier. Please show us what you have there, sir. Well, this is a oh, hold on. Let me zoom. Steel. Start fire and everything, just in case. <laughs> A uh, water filter system uh -huh. right here. Got it. Just, to like, Just in case we run out of water and we don't want to drink our pee. Uh, sure. <laughs> we have our bag of water right here. Okay. Uh, just carry it inside and then the water that I um, pull up from lakes and streams, I put it inside of here. This is so improbative. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna bring. A hat. Sunglasses. That's it. <laughs> Breakfast check. Water check. I was just in the store. Oh. Red Bull, check. Yes, check. Say check, babe. Counter video to her video. <laughs> Inception. Say check. Check. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Probably can't hear me, but he's trying to skip rocks. Trying. So far, he got two skips. it's not too windy we are finished with our hike we have found a nice opening to do some shooting with his bows and arrows so let's do some shooting guys this is my first time I'm excited attempt one so I yeah. put it in here yep make it make sure it sits on there I pull it back so far why what I'm are you it's gonna pop me or something it's not <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna channel my inner Katniss Everdeen. She was really good with a bow and arrow. Yep. 
Yep, straight. But like, aim at the... <laughs> you wanna... I don't think I gave it enough um. <laughs> Here, here's another one. Just like fate without no warning. This is fun, but it's literally midday, and it is so freaking hot out here. Oh my god! The next day. Good morning, everyone. I am back at X's. He's in the shower. I am already ready for the day. Even though we're just watching church online today, I'm going to look like. You know, a little cute. But I realized I didn't really end the vlog yesterday and kind of letting you guys know where we went hiking. So we went to White Creek, no, Sweetwater Creek White Trail yesterday. Let me double check. Yeah, Sweetwater Creek White Trail. That's where we went hiking and it was really, really fun. We then shot his bow and arrow afterwards. And for the rest of the day, we just relaxed. I honestly got some work done. I have a few things that I'm working on that I'm super excited about to share with you guys soon. And today we are just going to wrap up the vlog doing a few home updates. There are some things that have been changing as well as sharing our church notes. So we're gonna start watching Transformation Church shortly. And we started this thing where we both take notes and then afterwards we ask each other a bunch of questions. So I thought it would be fun for us to kind of just share with you the questions that we ask each other, kind of just to challenge each other, um, to really, I guess overall take the sermon and see where we can apply it to our lives. Um, so yeah, we're gonna share our church notes with you guys and that will be that so let's go ahead and get this sermon started so we just finished church we watched transformation churches sermon live stream and it is July 12th so if you want to check it out it is this most recent sermon and the title of the sermon was called it kind of took him a second she to get got to all it. the notes I do relationship goals satisfaction to the number two subtraction um, and so the gist of the sermon from what I took away from it um, was that being led by our attractions lead to subtractions and it's not just for ourselves but it leads to subtractions for others in our life like other people are impacted um, and then the way to basically remedy this is to repent and he kind of emphasized at the end the importance of repentance which isn't just recognizing that you've done wrong, but also turning. So turning away from what you're doing and turning towards God, and that leads to renewal. Um, so that is the gist of what I got. <laughs> Did I miss anything, or do you feel like that's kind of what you got too? Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, the your attraction leads to transactions, and those transactions are consequences. Mm. And um, yes, you will, you know, you should repent. But just because you repent doesn't mean the consequences don't still exist. That part. And, um, that part. yeah, um, and he was giving the story of David. Because every time you have an interaction, it leads to, ooh, let me find it, let me find it. Mm -hmm. Every time you have a transaction, yeah, like I said. Yeah, what is it? Every transaction always has evidence. Ah, yes, that yeah. was key too. And Every so transaction has evidence. The evidence of their transaction together, was David the, and Bathsheba, was her being yeah, pregnant. pregnant. But also he talked about appetite too. Um, so yes. this is early yes, on. Yes, he did. I really like the visual for that. It was a yeah. little gross at the end, but overall <laughs> it was really good. All right, so we're not going to record us answering these questions because this is personal, but we do want to give you guys the questions that we're going to now like ask each other just so you guys if you want to engage and watch the sermon and ask each other these questions or even ask yourself these questions it's just a great way to kind of apply what we watch today to your life if you check the description box below i'm going to compile all of these questions into like either a document or a google uh google doc or just something that you guys can download so you can have this to kind of marinate on throughout the week but we're going to go ahead and read the questions that we wrote down for each other go ahead babe 
what attractions do you have that bring you away from God? Okay. What do you feel your alternative appetites are? Mm. What are some of the appetites you have that you feel are bad for you? And how do you decrease your attention to those appetites? What are some methods you can use to control that appetite? What appetite would you like me to feed? Mm -hmm. Am I feeding that appetite? That's good, okay. What is God asking you to do? These are really good questions. Oh, and also how do we repent for the bad attractions we have? All right, so the questions that I wrote are, um, what is something that I am attracted to? And so I phrase this as me, but I'm asking like him. Uh, but it was for both of us. So what is something that um, I am attracted to that I give attention to, even a little bit, that is interrupting what God is trying to do in my life? What do you need to spit out? So this is going back to that analogy of taking a bite of everything. Um, and then by the time you get to the salad, like you have all this food in your mouth. So what do you need to spit out to receive what God has for you? What is some evidence of your interactions in your life? And so from um, attractions, you then interact with that attraction. So hmm. that interaction. And the last question is, what do I need to repent, turn away from, and move towards God to? That really sounds confusing, but more or less, what do I need to repent from and turn away from? Hmm. So yeah, these are our notes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was really fun. I feel like I would love to keep doing little segments like this. So let us know in the comments below if this is something you guys are interested in. Again, to get all the questions all listed out, if you wanna answer them, there's going to be a link in the description box. So we're gonna go ahead and answer these questions for each other. And we're gonna wrap up the vlog with a home updates little segment. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so the first home update, please ignore all of my hair care products. I'm gonna be filming an updated hair care video in here because the lighting is so much better here than at my apartment. But anyways, so the first home update we have for you guys is here in the master bath and it is the bath mats. We went to Bed Bath & Beyond yesterday, literally like 10 minutes before they closed and we picked out bath mats and let me give you guys like a close up of what the floor looks like here. So the carpet is like tan out here and then the floor is like gray with tan um, pieces. And so when we were at Bed Bath & Beyond. Did you get this? I did. We were at Bed Bath & Beyond. I said I think gray would look best. And X said. Tan would look best. And <laughs> lo and behold, I think he might be right, guys. So these are our gray bath mats. And I feel like it just, I don't know. With everything, I don't think it goes very well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is it gray a no-go? Should we go back and get the tan? The tan is very close to this color tan. And I feel like it's just kind of messing me up because these cupboards are like this brown gray color, but more brown, like more warm than anything. So yeah, they're very soft though. They're very, very soft. All right guys, so we're gonna end it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been a long day. All right. Hey guys, so we're actually gonna end up ending the vlog early. We don't have any more home updates for you because someone didn't put together their new desk yet. So I can't really show you guys his office. That was the plan. X has been working so hard to get his office together and it's coming along and looking so good. But he hasn't put together his standing desk yet and apparently it's gonna take forever because of wire management and having to get all the cords looking nice. So we're gonna postpone the office tour update until the next vlog. So thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Let me know in the comments below what other things you would like to see in the vlogs. Again, next vlog will have his office tour, so get excited about that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know. Be sure to subscribe also if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Peace.